What's up guys, how you know they welcome back. This is your boy Gadam Link. How you guys doing? Welcome to another video. And uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. And uh, please try as much as possible to subscribe, invite your loved ones, and uh click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day I upload. Well, guys, uh I want to firstly apologize. The video is coming really, really, really late. I went out today to do my promotion exams, so wish me all the best, all the luck. See, I see, apart from doing YouTube, I have other things I'm doing as well. I have my own personal life as well, and uh, my own uh, personal troubles as well. So we're just going to run through three very, very important discussion that has to do with Asake, Atres Empress, and uh, Atres Uchi Ubudu. Ubudu, yeah, that's correct. Well, of course, and actress Empress, our boyfriend, our most recent boyfriend is threatening her with her nude pictures. And meanwhile, Asake, one of Asake fans, just passed away. Oh, really, really uh, sad. According to Asake, he said, I am devastated by the news that Rebecca Ikomilo, who was in a critical condition since Thursday, has sadly passed away. My sincerity, my sincere condolences to our loved ones at this time. Let us please keep our family in our prayers. I have spoken to them and will continue to do so. I am overwhelmed with grief and could never have imagined anything like this happening. My team and I are still awaiting the full brief back from the venue management and the police to determine what exactly led to all the disruption caused an untimely death to Rebecca passing. If you have any relevant information relating to this, please do reach out to the Metropolitan Police. Thank you. That is coming from Asake. So, for those of you who do not know what actually happened, the last show of Asake, well, was held in uh, London. You know, he has been storing in London. So, the last show, unfortunately, at that venue, some fans, many numbers, close to 2,000, more than 2,000, came to that venue with fake tickets. And Asake and uh, the people who bought tickets were already in the venue. He wanted to perform. He was already on stage. Then those people outside who came, allegedly came with fake tickets, were trying to gain access into the venue. So there were arguments, they were fighting, and everything. So police had to come in and they advised Asake to stop the show. Asake, however, stopped the show as advised by the police. But some few, because of the stampede and the hurrying, fighting and everything, about four people were stabbed. This lady, I don't know if she was stabbed or not, but she was rushed to the nearby hospital by the police and uh, she has been battling for her life since on Tuesday. And she gave, and she kicked the pocket today so sad so 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 sad she just wanted to go and enjoy herself but i think it's okay for people for like 20 50 or 100 to have fake tickets but when it is amounting to 2000 fake tickets no 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 there's fraud in that there is something really really fishy like that is the number are just too much there is someone in a circus camp that is selling out fake tickets. 2,000, more than 2,000 people outside wanted to gain entrance into a circus show with fake tickets. So they should really, really do a thorough investigation because Rebecca cannot just say die like that. But it's sad though. Somebody say me go enjoy herself for a circus show. Never knew that that would be our last, our last day. It's so sad, guys. Well, it's good that Sake is uh, immediately sending out uh, a tweet on this regard. 
unlike some people they'll keep quiet they're not going to talk till after 25 hours <laughs> well guys i think we should go over to actress empress firstly i will play you the video of actress empress then i will then narrate everything that's happening to her one thing is i am out here saying this to encourage a lot of women out there to speak up I'm a victim of blackmail. Oh, thank God I'm alive to tell you the story. It's not been easy coming out to do this. But I'm here doing it in flesh and blood. And I will heal. A guy that one couldn't even call a human being came into my life and pretends I'm wanting to marry me. I didn't know that he had other motives. And he came when I was very vulnerable. When I lost my friend, Ada Ame. I was speaking to this guy on the phone for months, speaking to people that I thought were his relatives. Everything was just scam. Came to my life, said he could not leave me because I was not okay. I really wasn't okay. I was hiding it from the press. The death of my friend broke me down so bad I could not function. And he said he was going to stay with me. I didn't know he was busy gathering his tools, his materials, which he was going to use to blackmail me. Afterwards, he had my naked videos. And he changed. He started hitting me. And when I wanted to talk and tell him this can't work, he blackmailed me with my own videos and said, I'm going nowhere. And that's when he turned into an animal, beats me any time, locks me up, put the keys in his pocket. In my own house, I had access to I leaving my room. This is a guy who lied to me. That when he came to Nigeria, all his things were stolen. His phones, his, his credit cards, his clothes. And he, he got into trouble and he needed lawyers. Which I, which I gave a huge amount of money. I'm talking millions. He was out. He came to Abuja. Started living with me. I became a shadow of myself. The Empress, you know, became a shadow of herself. If you were around me, you noticed my social life was, was no more. There was nothing to post on social media. My fans were asking, are you okay? Are you still mourning? They didn't know I was going through something worse than that. He wrecked me, finished everything. I noticed that he also had lots of videos of other people. I saw most of my colleagues. I saw their chat, I saw everything. And I know those people could not speak up because they were scared. On my birthday, you guys know how I don't joke with my birthday. My birthday was the worst birthday ever in my entire life. He beat me up, broke my TV. People who came to greet me noticed I wasn't okay. But here I am, telling you in flesh and blood. You actually don't know what's coming. Trust me, I swear to God, you don't know what's coming. Everything that I said to you, I think you consider it to be a joke. But trust me, it's not a joke. I know your day-to-day -day activities. I know everything you do on a daily basis. You're facing Akira, you're facing Days, you're facing Dad, everything. I know absolutely everything. Thank you. The ring that he got was fading my hands, and each time I looked at my hands, it was burning. You could not afford that ring, obviously, but I couldn't talk. I'm going to leave this here for now. 
I just want to say thank you to those who have been coming to check on me. I'm fine. I will be fine. My family are here with me. It's been amazing with my Wow, see, I don't understand. Wow, why are these people dating rubbish now? Okay. Emperor just said something. So is it enough for us to believe her? Mm -hmm. So the recap of the whole issue is that uh, the whole issue is about Empress falling in love with this guy, and this guy is blackmailing her with her nude uh, picture, not just a nude picture. That uh, the guy collected four hundred fifty thousand US dollars from her account. You know, there was a time Empress even posted a video of her being engaged. And according to Empress, she said she was under duress. She was under duress when she made that video. The Empress, you know, strong actress. Ah. According to she said, a guy that one couldn't even call a human being. She also said this guy changed all the password log in. She, she uh, said she changed all my password, logged me out of every email I have, everything I have, all my phones, my cloud, everything. I don't have access to anything. I don't mind. I'm alive to tell you the story. I was able to run that night. I ran into the street. Not minding who or how I fell into the gutter. I was able to see a malam to ask for a phone. I called my brother and he picked me up from the hospital. The following morning, he took me home. The guy came back after looking for me, took my car, took my international passport. He took my remaining money, 450,000 US dollars. He took my hair pad, my hair pot. He had two bags of my valuables, took the car and left. He had the God to be sending me threat videos saying whether I, well, whatever I do, whatever I tell, he will put it out there. I am not the one handling the page. It is not being handled by me. Okay, this is a case of police. This is blackmail. I don't understand these people. This is blackmail. You are coming online. This, okay, you call this man a pure blackmailer. If you claim all those things he did, she, he did to you are real. This man came outside and said she, he knows your daily activities. Why don't you report to the police? Why don't empress and actress report to the police? Someone took your login. That's already fraud, fraudulent. Took your car. That is stealing. I'm robbery. Took your money and you are still sitting down explaining to us what do you want the internet to do for you? I don't understand. I don't feel pity for her. Oh. Sorry to say, oh. I don't feel pity for her. This is a guy who is still out there. It, it, this guy took your international passport. What do you do, this guy? Why can't you report to the police? And you want us, the internet, to do what? To, to, to sympathize with you? Why you not report to the police? Do you need Nigeria to tell you what to do to the, to the guy? Somebody who stole your car? You said your brother, your brother can't pick you. This guy is stressed you, call your brother, can't carry your car, your brother they look at him. I don't understand this country. I don't understand this address. So. You know, they pull around for one kind of dirty deals, maybe like the person don't know about. Reason the matter now. I feel pity for her, but also I do not feel pity for her because you are old enough to know exactly what to do. Go to the police. Let them get this guy arrested. You are an actress. You are not an ordinary Nigerian bill, I say, with the fear to go police. Go to the police. They will even respect you way more than they respect any uh, normal Nigerians. Ha! You are crying here. Meanwhile, somebody is going there. <laughs> so someone said, Empress, but you have a brother. Lot of guys that could have well reported this issue to before getting to this level how how and how could empress of all people 
fall to that cheap trick of him being robbed and lost all his belongings. What do you now they do for Nollywood? Then somebody asks you, you have a twin brother. What do you happen? What do you They pay me for body. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, let me know exactly how you feel, guys. Then uh, actress uh, Obona, she's really, really suffering. But she's okay, kind of like, okay. According to her, she just recently... Uh, according to her, she said, it's been three years I've had to deal with this condition. It's one of the worst things I've ever been through in my life. I am not bad reading physically, but uh, with the career and physically, mentally, psychologically challenged me. Even with my career, I woke up every day with a zeal to live, which is why I believe I have overcome this, this uh, demon. I am not dying today. That is my everyday spirit. And I go through my day like a warrior goddess that I am. So after one and a half years of not working out due to attack, I get every day and how intense I break out after workout and very low energy I have every day I'm back in the gym like I never left okay it's very very okay but uh, she's just uh, talking about her story of course she's still going through it because according to her it's uncurable so I wish her all the best and everything so guys uh, catch you next time have a wonderful day stay blessed peace